Welcome to Extreme Prophetic. My name is Patricia King. I'm excited about today's program because it's on the subject of angelic encounters, how they move, act, how we can see them, and how we can worship God with them. And we have an expert on the subject with us, James Gall. Hey. James Gall, you're a great friend. And, and of course, you're one of my apostolic uh, covering uh, members along with Wesley and Stacy Campbell and Bill Johnson right. and and um, I just I just love you and I love you. what you carry in the Lord but you are so experienced in the subject not only because you've studied the word out on it but because you've had encounters it's true so you uh, wrote the book yeah the manuals yeah the and, angelic encounters book yeah. engaging help from heaven but I'm gonna tell you something that I did do definitely over three decades, I read all 300 verses in the Bible on angels over three different decades. I have read over 110 books on angels wow. so from every kind of background, Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant, Billy Graham's book is still one of the greatest books ever written, Angels, God's Secret you know, Agents. And then I have had encounters. Not only I had encounters, but my wife did. And we've sat with people who've had current right. day experiences to glean from them. So that's what a little bit of today is about because right. we're going to glean. Right. And so what I want to say is heaven is full of angels. Yep. And an innumerable company of angels, the book of Hebrews says, and the book of Numbers. In other words, there's so many they want to be employed. Now, so get this. Could it be that in heaven there is, there is a group of unemployed angels and they're waiting for a job? Now, of course, they're in heaven and they're in worship. But there is a way of engaging help from heaven and calling forth heaven's army to be released into the earth realm. Mm -hmm. Right now, whatever city, whatever nation that you're in right now, I want you just to do something, whether you're on TV, web, or whatever, I want you to just say, help, <laughs> because God releases Heaven's yes. arsenal, part of it is angelic assistance yeah. where man sends yeah. an invitation. Yeah, and one of the ways that we can send an invitation um, is found in Psalm 103, verse That's 20. Exactly. Because it says, The angels obey the commands of the Lord and the voice. And of obey the voice, the voice of his of word. His word. That's right. So when we give the word voice, that's right. then that's what dispatches the angel. So that's why I love decrees, because I know every time I decree the oh, word of God, love it. the Lord releases angels. It says that the angels, they're in worship in heaven. There's at least three ways I know biblically they're released. One, God himself initiates, sure. releases a command from heaven. The angels are dispatched and they go. Two, intercessory prayer. Rises in the judicial courts of heaven. Jesus receives it. He turns it to the Father and he says, Hey, I hear a cry out there. Yeah. And then in response, God responds to our initiative and help is released. Sec third is, have you ever had the voice of the Lord thunder in your heart? You hear something and now you become the megaphone that gives voice, expression to God's word. And you say, fire, go forth, or you say, angels, be released. What was that? God spoke someplace. There he didn't speak in the throne room of heaven. He spoke in the throne room right. of your heart. And you now are given expression to the word of God. The angels go forth, obeying yes. the voice of his word. His word. Where yeah. is his word now? The word came forth from our voice. It was in us and came forth out of our voice, and it dispatched angels. And, it, and they go forth, yeah, obeying the voice of, in a sense, our word. Right. We are co-labors with God. One of the major, most exciting things about all of this to me, Patricia, is that we get to be co-laborers with God. I know, I love that. And James, you know, in the book of Acts, which mm -hmm. is the early church, yeah. it was loaded with angelic activity. In the day of Jesus, loaded with angelic activity. Absolutely. And it seems to be that there's certain times in biblical history and in the history of the church right. where just before really important things or during right. important transitions that there's an acceleration right. of angelic activity and assignment. That's right. And I think that we're in that day because I remember 33 years ago yeah. when I first became a Christian, we heard a little bit about yes. angelic visitation, yes. but I hadn't had any yet. And you didn't hear too much about it, just some special people right. that would have them. But then That's it started right. to accelerate. And now 
there's so much angelic activity. Children are seeing mm, angels and right. adults are seeing angels. Unsaved people are seeing that's angels. Right. Uh, books are being written about angels. There's like angel figurines and postcards yeah, and everything really everywhere. Because, because something's heightened in the hour that we're living in. See, it's a prophetic generation. Mm -hmm. And so that is the issue. So it's just like prophecy. Well, we heard about it, but it wasn't. And then it was a few special elite highly gifted people, but now it's accessible and understandable because it's for the many, not the few. The same is true in this realm as well. And what you teach, you receive a harvest right, from. That's and right. so as we teach about angelic encounters, yep. we're going to have our faith increased. Yep. We're going to believe for this. And we're going to have, as we've talked about in other shows, the seer realm opened up. Maybe it's the feeler for some, it's the hearer for some, it's the seer for others but they're right. going to have their senses heightened. Right. There could already be activity, but their senses have been dulled, and now their senses become heightened, and then they are like, oh, wow, mm -hmm. did you feel that? Did you see that? Did, did you hear that? I have heard mm -hmm. angelic orchestras. I've heard symph angelic symphonies. I've had dreams of hearing angelic worship and mm -hmm. and yeah. then wake up and then in my room and the room's tangibly yes. permeated with yeah. this fear of the Lord and destiny and presence of God. I remember one encounters that, that I had where I saw an angel dressed in a wedding gown. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Yes. I saw an angel in a corner of a room dressed in a wedding garment. And then the word of the Lord came to me and it said, I've come to release a word concerning the wedding of the church in Israel. Wow. And oh my gosh, it's like floods of scripture yeah. became illuminated to me in a second that I had already meditated yeah. on, but now they became heightened by the spirit of revelation. And I looked and I saw this angel standing there in the corner of the room and a, with a wedding garment on and it was radiating in the presence of God and the fear of the Lord was present and it was a part of a message, the wedding yeah, of the church in Israel. That's one of the assignments of an angel is to bring messages. That's right. From God messenger to the people. Angels. Bring messenger angels. That's right. And others are warrior angels. There's That's different right. assignments that angels have. And and I remember my very first encounter with an angel was hearing. Yeah. And I was a, a brand new Christian and um, I was in a women's conference uh, going to sleep mm -hmm. one night and all of a sudden it was like having earphones on yeah. and I heard angels sing. Absolutely. That was my very first encounter and then later on, a few years later, I actually saw with open vision an angel. I haven't had too many encounters mm -hmm. of open visions, but I can sense them when yes. they're here and people have said, oh, if only an angel would come to me and I thought, well, read your Bible because it yeah, says really. they encamp around the righteous. They're with Absolutely. you all the time, whether you can see them or not. Right. It says when you come to Zion, You've come to an innumerable, innumerable company, company of angels. They surround the righteous. They encamp around us. Absolutely. So whether you sense them or not, they're there. And that, I think, um, I don't know if you would agree with this or not, but one of the things that I teach people is that, first of all, go on the basis of the Word of God. Absolutely. And if it's true, then then just agree with that word. That's okay, right. there's angels around me then. That's right. And that will open your awareness just Absolutely. by believing the truth. Believe the word of God. Mm -hmm. You shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm. But it'll set you free in many dimensions. It'll set you free to believe you're not alone. Mm -hmm. It'll set you free to, to know that God's on your side. It'll yep. set you free to know that just as they came to Jesus in an hour of his weakness or an hour mm -hmm. of his trial that they strengthened him. Hello, mm -hmm. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and so are the angels. The angels stirred a pool. Healing happened. They strengthened Jesus in an hour of temptation, an hour of weakness. They can do the same for you. I tell you, they came and even gave angel food to Elijah. He ate it, and he ran in the strength of it. I tell you, the supernatural dimension is alive and real it and is. on the increase Today. Absolutely. You know, James, um, um, of course, we don't worship angels. Right. We only worship Jesus. Right. Um, but angels do carry a lot of the presence of the Lord because they've been, they've been in the presence oh, of the Lord for thousands of years. And so, and so they just carry a lot of His presence when they come. And that's how you can discern if they're from Him because they carry His presence. That's right. But, um, you know, of course, we don't worship them. But but we do I, worship with them. We worship with them. And also, I think it, it's just totally okay 
to talk about them, to enjoy oh, them. Yeah. Just like I talk about you sometimes, yeah. you know, sure. uh, because I admire and honor you and, and right. the things that you've, you've brought to us as a ministry have been really thankful. So, so even when you're not around, I'll talk about you, yeah. you know, in, in a really good light. And, um, and I also like to hang with you. And it's not that I worship you. No. Oh, God forbid that, no. you know. But, yeah. I mean, I love hanging with you because you're part of the kingdom of God. Absolutely. You're a brother in the Lord. And I can hang with angels, too, because they're part of the kingdom of God. It's, it's just part of the kingdom that we live in. But sometimes I hear people saying, you got to be so careful. You don't yeah. want to talk about angels. You don't want to give them attention. You don't want to be over-infatuated with uh -huh. them, which is true. But there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with being natural about talking about them or being with them, hanging with them, getting excited about what they're doing, just like I would anyone else in the kingdom. Absolutely. Now listen, if you cut out the Bible, the passages that deal with angelic encounters, yeah, come on. there isn't one book in the Bible that would be left un, uh, yeah, come on. cut up. Yep. It is throughout the whole 66 books of the Bible. Guys, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and part of that is Help is available, and it's available Amen. through angelic encounters. I like the way that Jesus isn't afraid. The Holy Spirit That's is right. not afraid to author portions of Scripture yeah. that include how angels interact with both God and with yeah, man. Yeah. And we're going to hear more about that interaction right after this break. The Glory School changed my life. Patricia's insights brought me to a deeper, more personal relationship with God Himself. Everyone needs to hear this message. Order The Glory School by Patricia King, an 18 CD set with 15 lessons on the glory realm. This set can be yours for only $59 plus shipping, $150 value. To order, call 866-980-5464, television offer 312. Go online at patriciaking.com or text the word BLESS to 42828. Teaching on the Lord's loving discipline has been neglected in the body of Christ, but every believer needs to understand this gift. Patricia King's powerful and much needed teaching on the discipline of the Lord is a gift to you when you help Patricia's media outreach with a gift of $25 or more. Sow a generous gift by calling 866-980-5464 and mention television offer 303 or go online at patriciaking.com. And so, Lord, I release your glory on my new friend. Welcome back to the program. We're going to talk right now about the angel of his presence or angels of his presence. Yeah. And so, James, you have some amazing insight uh, on that one. Well, you know, first of all, that is a term that's in the scripture, a lot in Isaiah. And so it can be a reference to Jesus himself, a pre-incarnate appearance of Jesus before the word became flesh. Of course, Jesus was in the bosom of the Father. So Jesus is the right. messenger of his presence. Right. But... When you study categories of angels, there's messenger angels, warrior angels, I believe that there is a category or a classification of angels that release the manifested presence of God. Mm -hmm. And they're assigned to particular people. And so wherever those people go, those angels go with them. One of our dear friends, Jill Austin, right. lived in this dimension. She had on assignment to her life angels of his presence. 
That's why wherever wow. Jill showed up, manifested, raw, incredible presence of God came. And I feel that right now because it wasn't just for Jill. It's available yeah. to the whosoevers. And I sense it. I feel it. I know it. In fact, I see it <laughs> right now. Wow. And I see angels releasing brilliant displays of the glorious presence of God himself. You see, these angels are in worship and they are carriers of his presence. They are mm -hmm. contagious, amazing, brilliant carriers. And I see angels and they're releasing the translucent, transcendent mm -hmm. majesty of Christ. I tell you, it is another dimension. They're releasing brilliant realms of the presence Thank of God. God. So right wherever you're at right now, I say the presence of God is among you. I tell you, it is something like Moses in the book of Exodus in the 33rd chapter. What shall be the distinguishing characteristic of the people of God? It shall be the presence of God among us. But I tell you, help is coming from heaven. And part of that help is an arsenal called a legion or a category, a classification of angels of his presence. They're there. They're there. They're there right now. For some of you, they're actually touching you right now. Yes, it's God touching you. Yes, it's the Holy Spirit touching you. But he's using an instrument called the winds of God, the flames of fire. That's Hebrews chapter 1, verse 7 and verse 14. Just to give you a little context, angels come with the wind. Angels are fire. Angels mm -hmm. release the fire. Some of you are having fiery encounters right now. Some of you are going to go into dream, vision, revelatory, mm -hmm. because there's angels of revelation. There's angels of, that release healing, and there's angels of revelation that are coming your way right now. I see it happening right now. Angels of revelation. In fact, one time I had a dream, and in this dream, people asked me a question. They said, how do you interpret dreams? And in this dream, it was so amazing. I turned, and I said, oh, he simply hands me scrolls and I read them and there was an angel on assignment to me that gave me interpretation. You say, prove it in the Bible. Well, I say, how about reading the book of Daniel in the Bible? It's right there. Angels were released that gave revelation. Angels were released that gave interpretation to the revelation that God gave. I see angels. I see. I feel I hear, I hear the fluttering of the wings. I see right now, I ask for God to open up the eyes of people so they can see, so that they can hear, so they can feel, so that they can know that they too are not alone. I see people in distress, but I see angels being released mm -hmm. to strengthen people right now you, in the midst of their dark hour, in the midst of what they're calling the dark hour of their soul. I speak to you and I say, light comes, help is on the way. And I say, angels have just been released, angels of his presence, angels of revelation, and even angels which are mm -hmm. carrying the very healing nature of God himself. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. More Lord. Yes. You know, uh, one of the things that I've been learning recently is that um, like there's sometimes when God will re re release an angel on an assignment, yes. but then sometimes he assigns an angel to you. Yeah, that's and true. those are two different, two things. different things. And um, but recently we were on the streets with Todd White and yeah, Todd awesome. White is a fiery young evangelist. That's I just wonderful. love him. I love going out on the streets with him because like heaven opens yeah. up and people get so touched by uh -huh. God and I love being with him. But he's not alone, is he? No, he's not alone. And, and, and one thing I know is because I've known him for, for, right. for a while now. You've tested him. And the when he was a young believer and, and out there evangelizing, I could see his own faith measure in obedience to God and with the love of his heart, going out and witnessing to people, sharing the word. And he was being faithful. Yep. And sometimes the word was accepted, sometimes right. it was rejected, right. but he just kept going, kept going on going and loving on people. It. And he honed his gift. Well, Recently, this last year or so, I noticed that he now has an angel assigned to him that I know wasn't assigned to him before, but it was because 
before, when he was being faithful to obey the word of the Lord, the Lord might have sent out an angel to right. help him, yes. but hadn't assigned it to him yet. Yes, yes, yes. But this time, when we were out, I actually saw the angel, mm. and God showed me that that angel was now assigned to him. Yes. And that angel, the way it was working, yes. was amazing because we were on the side of the street doing some prophetic jewelry and mm. stuff, and all of a sudden, mm. these two guys stopped at the side of the road. They were on their way mm. into a nightclub, and they get out of the car, and all of a sudden, their attention is captured. They stop right in front of us. Wow. They couldn't move to the right. They couldn't move to the left. They couldn't go anywhere. They're just staring at Todd White. And all of a sudden, they said right to him, hey, what's up? And then Todd started sharing, working miracles. They just stood there in awe of God, and they were captured the whole time. And I watched this angel hover mm -hmm. over them in a presence mm -hmm. that wouldn't allow them, like because it was so heavy, the glory mm -hmm. was so heavy that they couldn't even move out from that. They were captured they by were this love. They right. were, and and then of course they got saved and healed and right. they were amazed. Because it's about Jesus. It's totally about Jesus, but he has this angel assigned yeah. to him now. And I watched it then as we went down the street. I watched that angel go to work. That angel is assigned to him. Now, Bob Jones told me That's years right. ago, he said, when an angel is assigned to you by God, not an angel on assignment, but yes. an angel assigned mm -hmm. to you right. by God, because we've got a number of angels That's and right. I know them. But um, uh, he, he said, when God assigns that angel, it never leaves you. It's there until Jesus comes. I said, well, show me chapter and verse on that one. Mm -hmm. And he says, well, sure. The gifts and, callings, and the calling of God um, are without repentance. So right. if the Lord calls an angel mm -hmm. to be assigned to you, or if he gifts you with one, he doesn't take it away. And, and it's I thought, in the book of Romans. I said, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take <laughs> you know, it too. I'll, I'll take that. So we, we, we've had these angels that work with us, Absolutely. like Swift is one. Yeah. And ever since that angel came, everything happens easy and fast. Uh, I have an angel that's been assigned to me that deals with Israel's destiny. I know I probably had angels that were came or were attended to strengthen me or whatever. But I have an angel that's on assignment with Sure, me. you have lots of angels with you. But that's one of them yeah. that is a messenger. The Greek word, for those of you who want to know, is angelos. And it is interpreted messenger in the Bible as well as angel. And so there are messengers who are assigned to us to help us fulfill God's destiny, call, and purpose in our lives. And so I speak forth purpose mm -hmm. and destiny and angels on assignment in your life. Amen. And you know, I just know that I know that I know this, is that there's an acceleration of angelic assignment. And for many of you who have been so faithful to obey the Word of God, to walk in His Word, to obey it, to press in and focus on what God is showing you, you have empowered that revelation. And as a result, God is giving you angels, not just assigning an angel to help with something, but assigning an angel to you. Right. And you're going to become a lot more aware of it in this next while. The Glory School changed my life. Patricia's insights brought me to a deeper, more personal relationship with God Himself. Everyone needs to hear this message. Order The Glory School by Patricia King, an 18 CD set with 15 lessons on the glory realm. This set can be yours for only $59 plus shipping, $150 value. To order, call 866-980-5464, television offer 312. Go online at patriciaking.com or text the word BLESS to 42828. Just recently, a seer prophet from Southeast Asia um, saw me at a meeting and his eyes went all wide and he said, 
I see an angel. It's a brand new angel that's been assigned to you that is going to help you secure houses, lands, and buildings. It's been sent by God for this hour to secure houses, lands, and buildings. And he said it's not just for yourself, but it's that you would dispatch this angel um, through inviting the power of God to go give other people houses, lands, and buildings as well. And I just feel a leading right now to ask the Father to release that angel to you. So Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you would release the work of that angel to the viewers today to go and help them secure houses, lands, and buildings for your namesake, for your glory, and for your purposes in Jesus' name. Because the angels are in heaven and they ever worship before the throne of God. And I've been given dreams of symphonies and orchestras and songs that the angels are singing in heaven and he opens up, the Lord opens up the ears of choice people and he allows them to hear a song that the angels are singing in heaven to be released into the earth realm, even now. May the angels be released on assignment, angels of presence and angels who are worshiping. And may the Lord himself open your ear and may you hear a heavenly song and maybe you too will get to be a scribe that gets to sing, How Great Is Our God. Because that was a song that came from heaven down to earth to a humble young man. And so will it be. Heaven's music shall be released through angelic encounters. Watch out. Here they come right your way. I see a new angel. Um, well, it's, it's actually not a new angel. It's been with the Lord for thousands of years, but, but it, it, it's going to be dispatched afresh into the earth, and it's the angel of the fear of the Lord. It's the angel that's carrying the essence of the fear of the Lord. And some of you watching this program are going to start getting visitations of the fear of the Lord. It's this deep conviction and awe and fear. I remember being visited by the fear of the Lord a number of years ago. And when that spirit of the fear of the Lord comes, it's impossible to sin. You can't. You're too actually terrified to sin. But angels are going to start being released that carry the essence of that part of God the fear, the respect for God, the awesomeness of God. And if you want that, if you would like that, you can start praying to the Lord for it because, because he's going to start releasing that company of angels soon. So in the time of rain, you ask for rain. In the season when God's going to loose these, these angels, start asking him to loose it to you. But an angel is standing behind you right now. The Lord is behind you. The Lord is with you. The angel's touching you now, and a healing presence is being released, and the pain is leaving now. The inflammation shall go down, and you will not need your painkillers anymore for the glory of God. This is Clarice. Clarice lives in the frozen tundra of Antarctica, which leaves Clarice lacking a church community. So she logs on to XP Web Church, where she can connect with a vibrant church community anytime, anywhere. Join now at xpwebchurch.com.